Hi, welcome back to Colesky Drones. Today we've got the JJRC Q39 Highlander truck. I got this from Gearbest, I think yeah, I got it on offer and I think it was £52, something like that. So, before we go any further, so this is what you get in the box. You get the charger, the 7.4 volt 1500 mAh lithium-ion battery, and obviously the transmitter. So when it came out of the box, it didn't work. So whenever I bound it to the transmitter, it stayed bound for about 10 seconds and then wouldn't bind back again. It could repeat over and over and over again, it wasn't. So the issue was either with the receiver or the transmitter. So I contacted back, I contacted Gearbest, and Gearbest could not have been quicker or better at dealing with this. So they offered me three options. One was to send it back, and they'd, one was to keep the truck, and they send me another one. One was to keep the truck, and they'd give me some money against my account, or the other one was keep the truck, and they'll give me a full refund. So I decided to keep the truck and get a full refund. They told me I could do whatever I wanted to the truck, just keep it. It took two days from sending the email to have it sorted. You cannot fault that for service. I've heard bad things about Gearbest, but I've now dealt with them twice over the X9 and now this. Both times they've been absolutely amazing. So well done Gearbest, thanks for that. So this this is this was faulty or this was or the receiver was faulty. So what I did was I cut the receiver out of my Subatec, one of my Subatec because I've swapped that now onto a different transmitter. So I've cut this one out and swapped the guts from the Silvertech into here. So this now drives on the Silvertech controller. Absolutely fantastic range, is no different whatsoever. So let's have a look at the truck. I absolutely love this thing. I'm so glad I kept it. Let's just connect it up. The only thing I would say about this is instructions weren't the best thing in the world, and I hate Dean's connectors. But didn't the Dean's connector can be remedied any shortly. This thing doesn't ever... That's it, so I've got it in. Right, so, I don't think it tells you the instructions, but on the back of here, you have an on and off switch on the back of the seat. I don't know if you can see that little switch there. It's very difficult to see, but there is a little switch in there. You flick that switch on. I don't actually know if the switch was already on, because there's no little there's no indicator lights up. There you go. So you can see, fully proportional everything. And this thing has a decent amount of kick to it. The only tendency it's got when it's driving, and you'll probably see it when I do the road test, is it lifts its front wheel slightly. But you can donut this thing all day long. It doesn't really flip that badly. It really is a nice truck. It's well finished off. There's no lights, but you can obviously fit your own LEDs in the, if you wanted to do. You can see the construction in here. The shock absorbers go front to back and then it's got this arrangement here if you can see you have a knuckle joint that allows the suspension to go up and down which I like same on the other side obviously and then at the rear you've got these massive shock absorbers and massive trailing arms at the back it makes suspension really decent and look at you can look at the deflection on the suspension it's fantastic comes with a spare wheel a usable spare wheel the tyres are nice and soft it's got plenty of grip got quite a lot of power actually for what it is for the price I paid for it I'm very very happy with it to get inside you need to top off this thing because again there's no instructions you take two screws out that one that one because that's it top of this one that one that one that one and that one and then you undo the two screws here two on the roof here and this just lifts back which is why it's got this hinge mechanism here that'll just lift and then you can get inside the truck and do whatever you need to do so the battery's held on in a bit in a bit in this little bit here, you see that you just all you do is take the screw out. Of it. You actually don't need to because it'll just pull out the side of it. Um, but it doesn't like to put a bigger battery in. I have tried. I can get a bigger battery in that in that tray, so that's excellent. I just wanted to show you your kind of stock what you get for your money. The construction's really nice. This is like a, a flexible plastic, so it doesn't feel too brittle. Like it's just going to snap the first time you hit it hard. I have hit this a few times. And underneath, it's got a flat bottom pan, so and these like skid skid bits on here so you don't rip everything to bits and the drive shaft as you can see quite decent size and they're held in with a small screw so they're easy enough to swap out you can swap your drive shaft out very easily without stripping all this truck down it's got quite a lot of metal bits on as you can see here these are all metal here. Inside you'll see the full tray that holds most of the motor in is metal and where the shock absorbers mount to is metal inside as well. 
He's a really nice finished off for the truck for the money. I bought it on the flash sale, it was a fair bit more money before I bought it, but yeah, fantastic. I really like it. I'm just getting into trucks, so and I really am happy with this one. I think it's fantastic value for money. So I'm gonna leave you with the video of me driving it around in the woods so you can see what it's like and see how it performs and thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.